Okay, so as you can see from the title, today is going to be the install of the Blackview 4K. This is the DR900 series two-channel install. So a lot of you are probably saying, but your Model 3 has the built-in like dash cam and everything. And to that I say, well, as nice as it is, Unfortunately, it just isn't 4K. It's not something you can really check up on remotely. These are what I've had in all my other Teslas and I, there's really no substitution for these. I really don't think Tesla will ever be able to shoot in 4K or any of that. And I'll go ahead and put up some clips of actually what the video from this looks like compared to the dash cam mode in the Tesla. And there's really no comparison. It's the wide angle on this, it's the quality on this. You can see license plates really much better on this. This just offers me much more peace of mind, so that is why I'm doing it. That's why I recommend these. They're really great, and it's about time I do it in the Model 3, but Model 3 can be a little challenging in wiring these, so that is why I really wanna make this like how-to video for you guys, because a lot of you have been reaching out asking how to do so. So in Model S, there's actually up here in the speaker grill, there's the wires and you can hook into a constant 12 volt supply. In Model 3, that's not constant. And really the only other spot to go to is the battery because they don't have a typical fuse box and that will throw errors all over your screen because it doesn't recognize where that drain is coming from and will deplete that battery. It's a big headache. But the nice thing is, let me grab it here. Blackview actually sells these. So this is actually the Power Magic Ultra battery. Uh, it is a beast of a battery. Will plug into the 12 volt in the center console still, but when your car is parked and everything, this will supply the power so that it won't drain your battery, it won't throw errors on your screen, any of that. Um, and just looking at this real quick, it says fast charging, get a full charge in 40 minutes if you hardwire it to your battery, or 80 minutes if you do it to the cigarette lighter. High capacity, it has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, long lasting, more than 24 hours of parking mode power, adaptable plug and play or hardwire, install the way you want it. Uh, we are just going to be doing 12 volt cigarette lighter for this. We are not gonna be hardwiring it. Comes with everything you need to if you would like to, but pretty sure Model 3 would still throw those same battery errors if you do that. So just be careful. Plug in multiple of these together with the expansion battery. You can actually check on this via Bluetooth. That's really cool through the smartphone app. Really, really awesome. The only thing though is this actually does not fit in the center console, like right in here, or in the spot below the phone. So we're actually going to be installing it under the center console, but I'm gonna show you how it's actually really easy to do. And I'll go ahead and link all the Blackview products down below using code Derek on the website. will actually get you 10% off. So definitely check it out. So first thing first, we're gonna go ahead and connect this to my app and really get it all situated so that I can attach it and put this little camera like right here or back there and see where I actually want it to sit. Okay, so in the box you are going to be getting the two cameras that you have your front and your rear. Manual accessories box. Big wrapped up cable like so. This is gonna be your video cable to go from your front to your rear camera. This is going to have your cigarette lighter plug. This is gonna have a spudger for us to help move panels to be able to hide wire. You're gonna have a little SD reader. You're gonna have your SD card, which will vary depending on which model you get, because they sell different ones. You have some little wire clips, and then you have these two big stickers. So yeah, everything in the box is exactly what you'll need for install. So let's go ahead, plug everything in. I'm going to use this and see where I would like this. And here's where the back one is. I actually used that heat stripe in the glass there as a level for the camera. The actual lens is right in the middle of the glass. Don't worry about the wiring right now. We haven't hidden that. I just wanted to find exactly where all the cameras could go for the best view. Okay, so originally I was actually thinking about putting the rear camera right here, but in doing so, I got some weird glare off the back glass just because the way it's angled. So this spot right here is definitely a no-go. 
So now that we have placement all figured out, it's a couple things, get it dialed in in the app because currently the rear camera back there is actually upside down just because of the way I have oriented it. So I can do all that through the app is read you the orientations, do all that. Then we'll go ahead and start hiding this wire, which is the video wire. Now you wanna be careful with this video wire because you don't want to bend it, like crimp it. They are actually pretty darn secure but you don't wanna make like any super hard 90s. Video wires have gotten a lot better since they were in the past, but again, you just wanna be careful with that. So what we'll probably do is run both the power and the video alongside here, up into the headliner, go along that way, and then the power will end up going down, and the video will end up going all the way to the back. So what we're now gonna actually do though, is unplug the rear camera because we're gonna need that wire to be able to go behind airbags. You do not wanna block airbags, same with this right here. So we're actually gonna pop this panel off and part of the top one, just so that we can make sure we do not interfere with airbags. That is our side curtain airbag. So you wanna be careful with that puppy. But yeah, so now that that is off, we'll be able to make sure we run the video wire and we might even take some electrical tape and tack it up here. And then see if we can maybe tuck the wire in all the way at the bottom right there. And we will go ahead and take our power wire and string it right along here. You wanna stay about with this other wire loom here. I am actually going to be taking some electrical tape and making sure it stays with this rather than just sit it there because again, we don't wanna block the uh, side curtain airbags. And actually, while we are here, we can go ahead and take this and push it through. And you wanna try to get it right to about here. And then we can start tucking it in and taking this video cable to the back to connect the little rear camera to the front one. So I find it easiest to run this cable from outside the car and you can just kind of pull this down a little bit. You can kind of see up in there and kind of route this wire. So one thing that can be helpful when you're installing this too is this little like quarter inch black tubing. I use this to install on the Model S to feed it through the hatch. Well, what I'm gonna do actually is push it this way because then what I can do is I can fish the end of the video cable right into the end of this. That'll not only help keep it protected, but help guide it as I feed wire from the other side. Okay, and then we can just pull that right off, pull this right on through. So now that we have our video coming through here, we can start tucking it all through here. And once we get to here, uh, we'll uh, try to pull this down a bit, take a look under it. We might use the tubing again, or we might be able to fish it just right over this, just to the other side and then we'll be able to easily run it to that back camera. Now I do know some people who actually fish this video cable and everything along the floor. You certainly can do that, I just think this is easier. The video cable needs to be at the top of the car for the rear camera so I just find this easier. It's really up to you though, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now going at the base and the floor of the car you actually don't really have airbags to worry about. So if you are concerned with airbags at any degree, it's definitely easier to go down at the base. Midway, almost like right here, maybe a little bit closer to the light. I was able to get my fishing wire through. So what we're gonna do is same thing, is just take this, really tape it on there, make sure it doesn't come off when we're pulling the wire through. And then we'll go ahead and just pull it through. The nice thing about doing it this way though, actually tuck in extra cord on the front and the back if we have any. So that's actually not a bad location. So now we'll just go ahead and push this through. Gonna push and pull. There is a beam right here, so it's just going like under the beam. And just like that, here is our video cable. Okay, so we are all plugged in. Now I took this cord and you can kind of just push it all the way down 
and then like take it in this angle down there. And that hides it pretty darn well. And then we can kind of run up behind this, up through here. So here you can see, I completely overdid it with all of the electrical tape, but I wanted to make sure it stays up there. And this is really the easiest way to do so. So what I went ahead and did with all the excess is just ran it down here and then back. And that actually ate almost all of the excess up. So that was perfect. So now we just have this panel left to put up here. And then all of the wiring to the back dash cam is done. And also this trim plastic piece, like the gasket around the door, you just need to get that with your fingers and just do that and it will seat right back to where it's supposed to. Okay, so onto the power situation now. We're gonna go ahead and push this up, up in here, run it all the way down with that other black cable and we'll probably tape this one kind of right in here so it's out of the way of the airbag. And then we can kind of jump down here and all the way down here, that way we can get under all this trim kind of in front of my shoes and run the wire that way towards the center console. Okay, now with all that taped up, we can go ahead and uh, swing this again, this way, and kind of put this back in. It can be a little tricky because you want to make sure this little notch right here fits back in. It kind of like pressure fits in a little bit. And don't worry about this uh, door seal. That's easy to fix after the fact. I would just focus on making sure everything gets in there properly. So you also have this retention clip down here. There's a lot going on actually. <laughs> so that actually just snapped in right here when I just pushed on it this way. Got that one. There we go, perfect. I just tuck the wire kind of like right back there and then started tucking it under here. We can just kind of carry that a little bit. So just when you are putting this piece back, remember you have that notch at the bottom there and you want to get that right in that hole and then sit it in there and then push it vertical. Push that down. Don't mind the dirt. It's been really snowy and muddy here in Colorado. Uh, but we're going to be removing this anyway, so it's a good time to clean it. But now that we have the wire run through there and kind of fish back there, we're going to go along and fish it along that back side. We're going to go ahead and fish it kind of like right back here and just kind of put it up there. Now this side piece we are actually going to take off because the battery is going to sit right back there. We're going to actually be able to remove this carpet right here and actually get a hold of it way up in this corner. And then that whole piece comes right off. Put that in a safe place. Then what we have is all this space right here. And there should be just enough room right down there to put this battery. That's what I'm hoping, fingers crossed it should fit. Then what we'll do is we'll run the uh, cable kind of alongside here. We'll actually probably remove this trim piece and then go under that all the way up to in here where we have that 12 volt plug right in there. And this little spudger that Blackview gives you with the camera actually works out really well for this part. Especially just to get it started. Then it just Pulls right off, and there's the back of it. And what I found is actually using a T20 Torx, I took off all of the individual screws that kind of go on this piece right here. And that popped all this off. Comes right off as such. And then I found actually running it over this, like right in front of the little door stop 
if you will. This actually is a little piece of plastic. It comes right out, goes right in. If you run your wire right out in front of that, it actually doesn't impede anything. And then it gives you that much more because you don't have to start way in the back, then go up. It gives you that much more so you have plenty down there where the battery pack will go. So that's actually what we're gonna be doing. Um, this actually comes off really, really easily. I just wanna make sure you don't bend any part of it. And then it goes on really, really easily. So that's actually super, super nice. It does require you, however, to have an T20 or Torx 20. I think this is gonna be the best plan of action for me for a super clean install. But it's really up to you. If you don't feel like doing this part, you could potentially just kind of like run it over this and straight down and then tuck it along the base down like here. You would have the wire right here, but it would be a lot easier if you don't want to get a T20 Torx or anything like that. Or any installer, professional or anything could do this for you too. So yeah, it is a new day, but we got a lot done yesterday. We got the video wire run all the way to the back. It is all hidden, looks great. We got this part figured out within here. I got this trim put back on. Like I said, it just has those Torx T20s on there. And so we've got the wire coming right over here and then in there and down to where we need it. I did go ahead and order a new uh, splitter thing. This does stick out kind of far. So what I went ahead and did is ordered a more flush mount one with like a whole hub that we can sit kind of down here that plugs this in, but also has power so we can turn it on and off if we ever needed to. But also we can have a couple more cigarette outlets and some USB outlets should we ever need them down in here. So now we're kind of hoping this fits right in there. Looks to be enough room. We might just have to uh, pull this back a little bit. I think it'll fit right in there. So I was having problems fitting the battery in that tight little hole back there on the passenger side. But on the driver's side, I went ahead and took off this panel right here and the battery actually does fit right in there. Much, much easier on this side than pushing it on the other side. Just make sure you put all your outlets and everything on the passenger side, this side won't have any of that. So now coming to the passenger side, you can now see we have access to what we're gonna need for the dash cam and for the power in, which is right here. So we can go ahead and plug that in. Then we can go ahead and plug our cigarette outlet into that and then route our power cable over and we'll be all done that satisfying click. And then the one thing we will want to do is on that, it does have this right here that focuses and cigarette is on the left, off is in the middle and hardwire is on the right. So we're going to want to switch that to cigarette so that it knows what's happening. As you can see, we just powered on there and now it is charging. Now we can just plug this in we should hear it turn on. Light for your safe driving. Starting normal recording. Okay, that means we're all good. We can now go ahead and tidy this up a bit. Now, this is a really tight spot down here and there's not a lot of room for give. So I don't even think we need to attach the battery in any way. I think it'll be just fine as is. So we'll just kind of tidy all this up basically push all the wires in there. Make sure they're out of the way of all where the clips will hit. Okay, so we got everything put back together. As you can see here, you can see zero wires. Have no idea we even went in there. There's nothing. The only wires we have right now are those right there, which could technically be run through that autopilot housing. I would advise against that though, because you don't want the autopilot cameras heating up or anything like that. Okay, so that's that. It's 
pretty darn easy for install. Like I said though, just take your time, make sure you follow where I wired it or just wire it along the base of the car. Either way is totally fine. Just make sure you stay out of the way of those side curtain airbags for your safety. But the Blackview battery is by far the best option for the Model 3, so you don't get all these errors popping up or anything. But yeah, that's pretty much it for install. And if you want me to do an overview of setting up the dash cam and all that in the dash cam app, let me know. That would be a little bit longer of a video, so I'll go ahead and keep that separate for now. But let me know down in the comments if you would like that. Really, originally I was thinking you really wouldn't need any extra tools, but if you do have any of that little black tubing, that will make your life a lot easier to route the cable and also that Torx T20 screwdriver and I'll link everything down below on Amazon so if you do decide to do this install and you want it to be this clean you can easily do it yourself but that Torx T20 really allowed us to take off the side trim of the center console and really hide that wire because you can't see anything now and that is what I wanted I love the dash cams but I really don't like to see the wires which I'm sure you can all agree with and this literally is probably the cleanest install you could do on a Model 3 I don't know, let me know down below, is a dash cam something that you guys would install or are you going to be mainly relying on the Tesla cam? We can talk about it down there. But yeah, that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm so happy to have finally have 4K dash cam in the Model 3. As always though, thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, for helping with the channel. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, definitely check out their website and feel free to use code Tesla inventory, all one word, for 15% off your first order awesome perk, all kinds of cool products. So definitely check them out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it though. Thumbs up if you did. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.